Well, all right, let's get this show started. Hi, everybody. It's, it's Beth McCain. It's Lee McCain here. Beth and Lee McCain here on the uh, Law of Attraction radio show. And boy, this is show number 52. You know what that one, means? Yeah, one full year of being on the radio. Yeah, doing this one one whole year. I know. It's been wonderful. Show, 52 weeks. You know, you would have thought we would have ran out of questions by now, but you know, they just come in by the... The barrel fools, don't they? We have a boatload of questions. I know. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's, it's just so much, it's just so wonderful how it's built, you know, how it has built this, this whole year. Well, it's thanks to everybody who's listening. That is. is for sure. And now we have the national show on Sunday nights. It's very exciting. And we are so excited about that. And we thank all of you for it. We sure do. And what's the other news besides the, uh, it being the Sunday evening show? Well... We got a call from our program director at WARL, who's also a partner of the station, and who also was the one responsible for Universal 7 Radio, mm -hmm. where the show is carried, and they like the show a lot, and they want to go to three days a week drive time, morning drive. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> so there'll be a lot more coming up about that in the next couple of weeks. That's, uh -huh. actually, that's actually going to launch in about three or four weeks, and we'll give you the dates for that. In the meantime, we're going to stay on Sunday nights. And I don't know if we're going to also stay on Sunday nights, too. But I know mm -hmm. we're going to the three times, now, Monday, w Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now, will we be on uh, uni Universal7Radio.com as well? Absolutely. All yeah. three times? Well, good. Uh -huh, because three different shows, right? Not just one no, show yeah, once a week. No, no. Three all new shows every, every week. And and maybe four if Sunday night, too. I don't know. I'm going to talk to uh, Greg about that. Mm -hmm. But I think... Probably what we'll do is maybe we'll rerun one on Sunday night. I don't know how. I don't know. The details well, it's are, exciting, the whatever details it is. are coming in. It's very exciting, but no matter what it is. Yeah, we'll pass those details on to you. Mm -hmm. And and um, boy, how cool is that? I know. Three hour-long shows. Well, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm and telling you. A lot of it has to do with you guys' response to the first show. Mm -hmm. And the universe, I'm telling you, is putting it out there. It's time for this kind of news to get out there and get everybody being able to have the lives that they want to have mm -hmm. through the wonderful law of attraction it's true it's very true well you know beth for somebody just coming on to the show for the very first time just kind of stumbling on it isn't that how we find everything these days <laughs> just kind of stumbling around the web or mm -hmm. stumbling around the you know get grabbing the remote on the tv and stumbling there or you know, same thing with radio so assuming that there's somebody who's hearing us for the very first time here on our anniversary show <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the Law of Attraction. What uh, is it? Well, the Law of Attraction is the law of the universe, one of the laws, that states that anything that you focus on enough, anything you put feeling and thought to, will come back to you through the universe. And so all those thoughts, all those emotions and the feelings that you put into something and focus on it, whatever you focus on, will come back to you in a similar fashion of what you focused on. So if you're focusing on things that you don't want, those That's are going to come to you huh? from the universe. And if you think focusing on things that you do want, same thing. And there's, you know, there's more to it than that because you definitely, it's not just about focus. You really have to go inward and, and retrain your mind and your body really mm -hmm. to um, accept these new thoughts that are coming through you. Yeah. And the thing, too, is, you know, the sooner that you start practicing the law of attraction, the sooner that you start sending up these wonderful thoughts, these wonderful feelings, these, these incredible vibrations, uh, the sooner you see a major change it's happen true. in your life. It's true. And, you know, it's funny. You know, everybody, they get on the verge and they, they write in questions saying, oh, my gosh, everything is falling apart. What is going on? I started practicing the law of attraction, and everything's just not working out. What's going on? Well, you know, as you and I both know, Lee, when you first begin to practice the law of attraction, you see what kind of power is within it. When, the, when your life starts to change and you have things, you know, break down all at once, it is the moment before it all begins to come clear and Absolutely. come open. It's Absolutely like the universe happens. is clearing out all that stuff from you and you're starting anew. And that is a wonderful thing. And if you have a question that you'd like to email to us to answer here either on the small short show or the big one hour long show, uh, you can do that at the same email address, which is radio at bethandleemccain.com. Again, send your questions to radio 
at bethandleemccain.com. And Beth, a minute ago, you were talking about, uh, you know, change and, and, and how things kind of just almost get like uh, water behind a dam before it breaks, you know, mm -hmm. when things... Well, we had an interesting thing this week, didn't we? We sure did. Actually, we've had many interesting things this week, and not just us. The moment that the dam is about to break, yeah. and everything That's comes clear. That's when the big shift happens. And we've had one of those weeks. We had a huge and it, one. And we know how, at least, you know, because we've been practicing the law of attraction so long, we know how to handle them so that it, it comes with ease mm -hmm. instead of the shock like it hits a lot of people. Right. And so we had, well, crazy. We had our, the dryer went down. Completely just, and this dryer is like not an old dryer. It's, you it's know? only a year and a half old. And it just froze. Okay. Boom. Okay. So we had that. Then, uh, when, uh, just the other day, my parents' TV, boom, gone. Out. No reason Likewise. for it not to. Sound, no. sound is still working. The picture just went away. Yeah. Picture tube gone. Um, you know, well, just, for the computer itself. Just to back up to anybody who's kind of tech minded out there, we completely reconfigured the studio. We went through a major uh, technical shift on the mm -hmm. studio. Okay, so fair enough. No problem. Everything's sailing along beautifully. The new reconfiguration is just gorgeous. We're having a great old time. Uh, we go to do the show, one, you know, just like normal. And the main computer system just, it's like it disappeared. Mm -hmm. It just crashed. Just. All, you know, everything, all of our, just everything, all the elements that make the show, everything just gone, disappeared. And it's an ironic that it happens on the first anniversary of the show. But we have a reason for that, don't we? Well, the software, which we didn't, you know, we were kind of aware of. But, you know, when you get used to a comfortable software, you really don't want to move up. Unless you're a technical person that just loves that kind of a change. You like to stick with what you know. And what works. Yeah, and so... Come to find out that the software that is used for our particular uh, recording studio, um, we called the company. Jim's been on the phone. Lee's been on the phone. And they said, and oh. And also Adam. Yeah, Adam. Oh, that's right. Oh, my goodness. And it said that, um, well, you know what? We have you right here that you've got the, the software and everything. Because it's like a big software. It's yeah. not like, you know, st software you get at Walmart or something. I mean, this is, a, so this they is said, stuff that's built specifically for what we do. So they said, you know, gosh, we're so sorry that this happened. Let's get online. We'll get it online. They looked it up immediately. And they said, I'll tell you what, for the trouble, we're going to give you a full upgrade. Well, of the whole big deal. Of the whole yeah. big deal. And that. I mean, we can't even tell you. And then Adam the rebuilt. Difference. Adam rebuilt the computer system in less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And so here we are. Yeah, <laughs> and it's sounding better than we did before. And just it's and just. just it, but, but but it was a clearing out. Is really what it was. It was a shift, true. wasn't it? There is a clearing out time, and we had one of those clearing out moments. And you know, of course, the dryer's fixed now, and, mm -hmm. and the parents have a new TV, and we just. Took it with a, well, okay, let's get it fixed and we'll get it, the solution all done. Yeah. And we will go ahead and move on. And gosh, it's just been wonderful since. And so what we're going to do is basically, you know, this show is just kind of a, you know, just doing a little visiting with you. Uh, starting with next week, we're going to come back with some questions mm -hmm. like we always do. But we just kind of wanted to mark the... Uh, you know, the, the little anniversary here of, of one year of the Bethany McCain radio show. And of course, show number two of the hour long show mm -hmm. will be on uh, tomorrow night, yeah, which is and, uh, Sunday night. You know, anyone who has listened to us over this past year, would you give us an email and let us know how you're doing with the LOA? You know, yeah. some people we hear from once and some we hear from many times, but mm -hmm. it'd be wonderful if, you, wonderful if you can give us some updates and... Let us know how you're doing. Yeah. And then we'll be back next week with a regular show where we'll have a couple of questions for you. And uh, um, until then, we'll, uh, we'll see. And we hope you'll tune in uh, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 o'clock Pacific Time on Universal7Radio.com or WARL 1320 in the Boston area. Um, and until next week, we'll see you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.